Hey y'all, Blanche here. How's it going today? Well, today I am doing a reboot, I guess you could say, of a look that I did in the past. This is a recreation of the look that I did in the my entry for the On Kareem Drag Makeup Contest. Um, and if you'll recall, I won that contest, which I'm still so very thankful for because I use all of the prizes all the time that I won. Uh, in fact, today I'm wearing, using uh, the uh, lipstick palette, which I use, oh my god, like every video. But t today I am doing, using different colors than the last time. If you'll recall in the previous video, I did all NYX makeup on my eyes. Well today I am using the Coastal Sense 88 palette, the matte palette. And um, I wish I had a, a, the video to compare the two looks, but unfortunately I lost that video due to copyright reasons. Yeah, it was the Beyonce song that I did in the lip sync section of the video. But let me show you a picture from that look. Okay, as you can see, they're very similar, but they're shaped differently, and uh, I think I just refined it a bit better in this look. If you want to see how I did the this look, let's see how many times I can say the word look in one video, but if you want to see how I did my makeup, definitely keep watching. Okay, all of our colors are coming from the Coastal Scents 88 palette, and we're going to start off with the blue that is in position F3, if you've got the got it laid out as a grid. And I'm applying this to the two-thirds of the inner eyelid. I'm going to blend it in with the white that's already been applied to the inner corner of my eye, and then leave a bare space just on the outer third of my eyelid. And I'm applying this with my two, 3 8 inch Maxine's mop brush and then blending all of that together. And then on the outer third I'm going to apply the blue that is in the F5 position in the same palette. All of our eyeshadow colors are coming from the 88 palette, the matte one. And then I'm bringing this color up above my eyelid, uh, just sort of to give a rounded shape here, and I'm blending that in with a, a fluffy brush. And now I'm going to take some matte white eyeshadow, this is also from the same palette, and applying it to the inner corner of my eye and blending it in with that light blue. And I'm bringing some on the inner corner of the lower eyelid as well. And now I'm going to use the hot pink here. It's the hottest pink. Uh, and I'm going to use the small crease brush from Essence of Beauty. And I'm laying in the base where I want my crease to be. I'm basically just outlining right above that eyelid shape. I'm going to use the larger crease brush from the same set and blend it outward and upward um, so that it blends out towards the eyebrow. The Coastal Scents palettes are really nice. I really like the matte one. Uh, it's very pigmented. The colors go on well. They blend well if you've got a good base. Um, I don't care for the shimmer palette, um, and the shimmer palette has um, pretty much the same colors, but they don't seem to be as pigmented. Okay, here I'm just applying another coat of the same pink 
uh, close to the crease area just to intensify that color and I'm blending it upwards. So I'm basically doing the same thing twice here. And now I'm going to take the matte white from the same palette and applying it as, um, as my eyebrow highlight. And then I'm going to blend it in with the same, with that pink. I'm applying this with the Angle Eyeshadow Brush from e.l.f. I really like this brush. Um, I used to use it just for applying the color to the inner corner, but I now use it for the eyebrow highlight. Uh, and then I'm going to use the Revlon Crease Brush and then just blend all of that together. I'm going to use the darker pink here at the bottom, and I'm going to go just into the very crease itself and deepen that color up. And then comes another round of blending. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. Uh, eyeliner pen and I'm going to put it on as a dramatic winged liner. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking here. Um, it's kind of hard to see in the video itself, but I actually had a double wing on the outside corner. Um, you could see it in person, sort of. But by the time my eyelashes were on, you couldn't see it that much. So just do a single wing. Uh, I would also suggest uh, using an eye eyeliner sealer with this eye eyeliner. I did find after I'd been wearing my eyeliner for a couple hours that it had transferred to the upper part of my eyelid and it did not look good at all. So if you've got something like um, Benefit Shellac, use that. And I'm applying the Rimmel Soft Coal Black Eyeliner Pencil to my lower waterline. And then I'm going to go in with the black um, eyeshadow from the same Coastal Sense palette and I'm going to set it and I'm also going to blend that onto my lower lash line. And I'm going to use the small uh, Essence of Beauty crease brush and just smoke that out just a little bit. You don't want it to travel down too far but you want a soft edge. I'm gluing on my 199 lashes. That's model 199. And I'm using duo eyelash adhesive. I'm getting those as close to the lash line as possible. Make sure to push them up on the outer corner when you're finished so that they aren't too droopy on you. Now I'm going to use my pinky lip liner. You've seen me use this liner in almost all of my videos just because it's a nice medium pink, a natural color, and it, it goes with any color. And it's just a base so that I have an outline for my lip. I'm overdrawing as normal to get my nice diva shape. And I'm going to blend it out with my lip brush just a little bit to get rid of that cakey kind of crayonish um, finish that it has. And now I'm filling in my lips with MAC Plink lipstick. Uh, this is a luster. I am not sure what collection this came out with or if it is a limited edition, but it is a very nice kind of dusty light pink color. I was wanting a nude lip tonight because my eyes were 
so dramatic. But because it's drag, I still wanted a sort of dramatic look on my lips. And you'll see how I do that here with the, the next lip liner step that I do. Okay, now I'm using LA Colors uh, Burgundy Lip Liner, which is a nice dark kind of maroonish color. And I'm lining the outside corners of my lips and the, uh, the outside edges. And then I'm going to blend that in with the lipstick just to give a, a darkened corner. It makes your lips look fuller and to me it finishes off your lips. See, I would never feel like my lips were finished if I just had just the lipstick on. I always need a bit of outline or a bit of definition. I'm using the same brush and I'm just blending all those colors together. These lipsticks really blend well with the lip liners. Now my blending sort of lightened that a bit too much, so I'm just adding another little bit just to the corners of the lips. And then I'm going to blend one more time. That's a good thing with makeup. When you're blending, if it gets too light on you, you can always go back and add more and get it how you want it. That's why it helps to apply light coats, because uh, if you just gooped it on and smacked it around there then it would be too bold and you couldn't couldn't tone it back down okay well that's our face we're just about done uh, so yeah thanks so much for watching guys Okay, so this is our final look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I will be back very soon with some very interesting things and blogish videos and more tutorials. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later. I love you all. Bye guys.